What's going on guys, it's Dio here with Return of Dio Gaming and Real Life Writing here on YouTube. And uh, before I start this video off, I just want to add in a disclaimer. I am not endorsed or paid through GoPro or GoPole mounts, which is what I'm going to be showing you today. So um, here we have my helmet, uh, matte black showy, love it. Um, with your normal GoPro placement just up on top here. Um, I saw a photo on Instagram the other day where the camera was looking back and you could see the rider um, sort of like what they had on the GoPro Hero 2 commercials, I believe, uh, riding in the dunes and everything. And um, I commented that if they ever sell those publicly, I'd like to purchase one. And someone replied and actually told me of GoPole, G-O-P-O-L-E.com, and sells uh, these mounts. So I picked up what they call the arm. Um, just a little plastic piece here. It has a curve to it. I'm going to show you this real quick. All right, so I'm just going to show you. This is how it comes. And um, let's just pretend that you put on the mount the same way you do a normal GoPro on the top here. We're going to unscrew this real quick. If you were to do it in this fashion from the back, um, as you can see, it wouldn't even hang far enough. You're just going to get the top of your helmet unless you had it like up like this um, or backwards or something. So you're going to need to do a separate mount. And what you'll see looking at mine here is I've mounted it sideways. Um, that's because the, the showy has such a um, slanted visor here. If you mounted it straight forward and it was like this, then I fear that the camera would be hanging back sort of at an angle like this. That's exaggerated, of course, but just so you can get an idea instead of hanging straight like that. So what I decided to do with mine was mount this GoPro thing sideways. And I'm going to use this little extender that I think came with uh, the GoPro stuff. It might have been with the J-Hook stuff. And um, use that. So I'll show you this real quick. Screw everything on in here. And uh, while I'm doing this, the GoPro extender arm was, I believe, $19.95 before tax and shipping. So very reasonably priced. Um, not too expensive at all. So you can see with this little extender thing, what, th what this is going to do is change the, the prongs up here to be a straightforward one instead of sideways. It also allows it so we can rotate this something like that. So if um, you're wondering what that's doing, instead of it having the arm come off to the side like this, it's now putting it straight forward. So it's up and down just a little bit to the rider's left. So we're going to mount this up on here, hopefully. Make one out of this. And there you have it. There you have the GoPro arm. Then, of course, mount the camera up on here. Um, if you're not familiar with the GoPros, it does have a record upside down mode. You're going to want to enable that. Um, I might make a video just on how to do that. It's real simple, but um, since the camera is going to be hanging upside down, that's going to actually make it so it records it right side up. So you don't have to do it in post editing. It's actually going to record upside down. Um, you just have to remember to switch it back if you're going to put it back on your helmet cam mode. All right, so there we have it. Hopefully you can see that well. Of course, you can adjust this. I'm going to loosen it so it's going to flop down here. You can have it up here if you want, then you can move the camera separately, bring it in like this, have it, I don't know, obviously you couldn't ride with it right there. But, you know, something like that, it's kind of hard to do this while holding all this up. Something like that, looking back in. And yes, I'm aware that that's going to look a little goofy when you're riding. This isn't going to be something you're going to want to race in or do a full moto in. But throw it on a lap. Um, if you can throw whips and scrubs, I'm sure that will look sick with this. Um, but just for me doing my YouTube stuff, you know, I can knock out three laps with this on. Look a little goofy for a few minutes, but... The footage in the end is definitely going to be worth it. Um, just a new perspective. I mean, it, it kind of gets tired just having it up on the up on um, the top of your helmet, looking down, and um, or even the chesty. It's always so fun to try something new and just uh, mess around with it. I've even seen one. I don't know exactly how the guy mounted it. I'll have to mess with it. Um, let me take this off here, actually. See if I can think of it. It was a really cool idea the guy did actually riding a road bike. Um, he must have had a mount back here or something, or maybe down lower, and he had the camera hanging off the back like this, um, maybe like that, if you will, so you could see the back of his head, and you were looking like over his shoulder, almost like a video game, 
uh, not as far back, of course, but you could see his head and then his hands at the bars and then the road ahead of him. Um, so yeah, hanging something like that, I mean, even like that, you get a little bit of the, like fur further back on the visor. That's just something I'm going to have to mess with and just uh, try out. It's really cool. Um, like I said, under 20 bucks, over 20 after shipping and uh, taxes on it, but just a, you know, about seven and a half inch plastic arm. Uh, it seems nice and durable. Um, doesn't even bend at all doing that. I don't want to bend it too hard, but if you crash hard, it's probably not going to survive it, but um, you can say that about any GoPro now. So I'm going to hook this back up on the top here. While I'm actually filming this, if I open up these blinds, it's actually snowing outside right now, uh, unable to ride. So when I post this, there will be some riding footage using the GoPro arm interlaced with this. Um, so you can see what it actually looks like um, in use on a motocross bike. And yeah, that's how I'll crouch down so you can see the whole thing. There you go. Um, hangs out a little bit. The, the head weight isn't too bad. Um, I mean, yes, it's as heavy as the GoPro is going to be pulling your head down. And uh, if you have the three, then you really shouldn't have to worry about it because it's so light. Um, and I just have the HD Hero one. But even that, you know, it's not like it's a strain to keep your head up. It's, um, it's a little bit of weight, but not bad at all. Um, like I said, you wouldn't want to do a moto in it, but a few laps isn't going to kill you. So there we go. Hopefully you can see this whole thing, uh, the actual distance on it. And... Um, yeah, I think it's a really cool product. I'm really excited to use it to post videos with it and everything. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, as always, take it easy. If it's easy, take it twice. I'll talk to you later.